Okay, let's go ahead and start this area bathroom rug test with the IW400. So what I'm looking for is how well the robots can navigate not getting on top of the rugs. Also for the Brava M6, we're going to see if it does not spray the rugs either. So to start the iLife W400, all you do is hold down the power button for a few seconds. Now the iLife W400 has four modes. It has area, spot, path, and edge cleaning mode. So for th this test, we're going to do the area mode, which is basically a 5 by 5 meter area. So go ahead and select on the left side here the mode we want. Okay, we're in the area mode and we'll go ahead and get started. So it only makes that clicking sound at the very beginning, but once it starts going, the clicking sound goes away. Also, both the Brava M6 and the W400 are very quiet cleaners. You can easily run these at night when you're sleeping, watching TV, having dinner with the family. It's definitely a lot quieter than the Roomba S9. The navigation abilities on the W400 just blows me away. It doesn't go past the virtual boundary that it creates, and also it's able to navigate these bathroom rugs fairly well by knocking on top of them. The only thing it managed to do was move the brown rug towards the back of the room just a little bit, but even then it was able to cover 90% of the area. So the only area it missed was just the area highlighted in red between the green carpet and the white carpet, but everything else was covered. I don't know how the W400 does this because it only has gyros, accelerometers, and encoders to figure out where it is at in a given area, whereas the M6 has a visionary camera system, so it can actually figure out by repositioning itself looking up at the ceiling. So good job W400 with the programming, it's phenomenal and it really shows in this test. I am still in the process of figuring out what type of sensor used to detect the carpet because it does a phenomenal job staying away from the carpet, it never goes over them. So the W400 will try to go back to its same starting point once it's done finishing the cleaning job. It was off by about a foot, but that's not too bad considering that it doesn't have a visionary camera or a spinning laser system. So what do you guys think? How well did the W400 do on this carpet bathroom rug test? The W400 will make a complete 360 and increase its vacuum suction to pick up any remaining water. Just to recap, the W400 only missed the area highlighted in red. Also, it moved the brown rug a few inches off to the right. For the Brava M6, I set to medium spray and deep cleaning mode. Um, I told the Brava M6 that it's going to clean the entryway. And it already mapped this floor plan, so it should know where it's at. So I suspect that the Brava M6 should perform better than the W400 because it has the smart mapping system or what iRobot calls iADAPT 3.0 which is a vision based camera system. The robot should know where it is within the given floor plan since it's already mapped it out. Um, we'll see how well the M6 does, see if it can cover all the areas and not spray the rugs or get on top of the rugs. So the Brava M6 uses resistance on its mopping pad to determine if it's on hardwood floor or carpeting. I noticed it wasn't spraying down any liquid even though there is a wet mopping pad installed and that the water tank is full. I decided to do some additional test runs to see if the Brava M6 would improve. So for round 2, I decided to put the Brava M6 on its charging dock and have it go to the entryway on its own. Sometimes the Brava M6 has trouble with positioning itself if you physically move it even though it's on the same mapped floor plan. 
So the robot had trouble with this white carpet. It's fairly thin. So trying to determine the resistance of this carpet since it's so smooth is kind of hard for this robot. So you can see it went onto the carpet a little bit. It was able to spin off and continue its cleaning cycle. It doesn't start spraying until a couple minutes into the run. The reason for this is because it still thinks carpet or an object is nearby. It will not try to spray carpet or an object. So it finally starts spraying now. Um, I think this cleaning routine will be fine for dry mopping, but for wet mopping, it should really start spraying sooner. The testing was so exciting that my daughter decided to watch for a bit. She was definitely rooting for the M6 to win. So with both the W400 and M6, I always recommend trying to pick up everything towels, rugs, cords, shoes, anything that the robot could get hung up on. Even the world's smartest robots will still get tangled up from time to time. So to give them the best chance and best cleaning ability, just pick up all the items on the ground. So once the Bravo M6 is done with its cleaning cycle, it will return back to its charger. So I went ahead and checked the edges of the carpet and on the bathroom rugs. They felt a little damp around the edges, but it wasn't too bad. Like I said, just pick up all the rugs and you should be fine. The Brava M6 can also be told not to get near the rugs as well through its smart mapping. So highlighted in red is all the areas that the Brava M6 got. I did not consider any area where the Brava M6 did not spray. It's only the areas that it actually sprayed. So we'll take a quick look of how dirty the dirty water tank is. And we'll also look at the Brava M6 wet mopping pad. See how dirty that is as well. Keep in mind I used fresh tap water and the water was definitely clearer than that. So even though I mop once a week, it still can manage to pick up some dirt. So once all the water is out, I like to leave the caps open and have them sit overnight to let air dry. I find that if you leave water in a tank for long periods of time, it may start smelling. So here's the wet mopping pad that I just finished cleaning with. I hope you found this video helpful and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would recommend you subscribing because it really helps small YouTube channels out and I would really appreciate it. Lastly, the next video is going to be a liquid test. We're going to see how well the two stack up against each other, picking up various liquids on a clear glass table. Thanks for watching again and you have a great rest of your day and be safe out there.